Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and today I'm going to show you what I use for a sleep system when I'm staying in my cabin tent which is a Lakewood Lodge by Magellan and if you want to know more about that there's going to be a card up here in the top right of the video as well as in the description below about this tent. Now when I wanted to get into a cabin tent I knew I wanted to have a sleep system dedicated to that because I didn't want to just put a mattress, an air mattress on the floor. And so I was debating on whether to get an air bed, which they do make air beds that are this tall, or whether I wanted to go with a cot. And a quick deliberation led me to a cot because a cot can't spring a leak and become useless. Now when I went to bed last night, I thought I was going to be doing a review of the cot itself. There was a little problem when I got up this morning that's going to keep me from doing that review. So I thought instead I would do a, a video about how I have built my sleep system here. And underneath is a Camprite oversized quick cot. And a link to the manufacturer's website will be down below. And here's the dimensions, the, you know, the, the height, the width, and length, and everything else, both set up and folded up. And in and of itself, the cot is, is comfortable enough, but it's a little bit too stiff for me. So I wanted a little bit more padding. So what I did was I took the measurements and I found a Nemo Cosmo 30XL air mattress that fits just absolutely perfect in this space and gives me a tremendous amount of cushion and support to give me a nice comfortable sleep. On top of that, is my vintage 1973 I think 1973 is when I bought this sleeping bag and you can see it's discolored a little bit from age but this is a Coleman sleeping bag very standard this doesn't have a cold weather rating but I don't go sleeping in cold weather anyway and on top of that I have my DIY uh, bedroll blanket that has two layers on it now normally I just sleep on this if it gets a little chilly, I'll crawl into this DIY bedroll. If it gets colder, I'll sleep between these two. And this is where I do most of my sleeping, is simply between the sleeping bag and my DIY bedroll. That's where I do most of my sleeping. If it gets really cold, then I'm sleeping in the, mat, the sleeping bag itself. And if it gets colder than that, of course, I've got base layers I can wear. I've got uh, light, medium, and heavy base layers. So I have a lot of choices on keeping comfortable without getting overheated in the summer, just another place to sleep. Now, to, to make it a little bit more homey, at nighttime, I use a couple of totes that I use to carry equipment with as a nightstand. So I have a place to put my glasses, my watch, my cell phone, and things like that right next to the bed. I also have a standard pillow and pillowcase, and I just got a brown pillowcase just to keep the dirt from showing because it gets a little filthy camping. So that gives you a basic idea of what I use for tent camping in my cabin tent Lakewood Lodge by Magellan. And the reason I'm not going to do a review on the cot itself is because when I sat up in this morning, it ripped a hole down this side. So the, this surface here has separated from this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it apart and repair it. Uh, I've got one more night to sleep on this. I've got some supports on here, so I'm thinking hopefully I will make it through the night tonight and be able to go home tomorrow comfortable. And, and keep it from ripping. And I'm going to contact uh, QuickCont to see if they will warranty this, even though it is out of warranty. But this is only the fourth time I've used this cot. And when I got up this morning, it had this big rip on it. So I'll be doing an update on Camprite on what they want to do with it. And if nothing else, maybe I can disassemble this and get the material off. And I might be able to sew it up myself and patch it. Otherwise, I don't know whether... I want to spend the money on another one if this is going to happen to me on the next one. Well, time will tell. But anyway, this is my cabin tent sleep system. This is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.